Remember, understand as much as you can by listening first, then, if necessary, read the text. I will read this at a normal pace for day-to-day -day conversation, then we will review some focus words, and then I will read again at a very slow pace for you to listen and study, okay? Also, if you are a Brasileiro, please see BrazilianHeart.com backslash blog for more detailed help. Let's go. I hope you're having a great day, and I appreciate the feedback you've sent me. Remember, let me know if there are words or phrases or situations you'd like for me to focus on. Today we'll deal with something I consider really difficult for people learning English. How do you figure out how to say the ED ending of words? Some say a T sound, some say a D sound, some cause a second syllable to be pronounced and some don't. What's up with that? Let's explore and discuss that. This evening, I'll review one of the situations in depth. I want to review with you when the ED past tense ending will form a second syllable. And then, we'll practice a few words that follow that pattern. I think this is the easiest situation for you because many other nationalities pronounce all the letters. Okay? Here's a rule for you. If the base word ends in a T, or a D sound, the ED will say ID and will require a second syllable. Here are examples for you to hear. Butted, carded, dotted, floated, gated, handed, landed, matted, knotted. Later I'll say them and allow time for you to repeat them, okay? So, if the words end with a T or a D sound, the ED will form a second syllable. Here's a paragraph to feature this particular rule regarding the pronunciation of the past tense ending featured today. Last week I went to my grandmother's house. I wore a dress that was purple dotted with white roses. Along the gated path I spotted a pair of hummingbirds that darted in and out of the flowers. Some words for you to practice. Repeat after me. Budded Budded, budded, carted, 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 dotted, 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 floated, 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 gated, 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 handed, handed. Handed, landed, 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 matted, matted, matted. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? Okay, thanks for your time. Keep learning. Thanks for letting me help, and God bless you. Now, one more time very slowly for you to practice. I hope you are having a great day and I appreciate the feedback you have sent me. Remember, let me know if there are words or phrases or situations you would like for me to focus on. Today we'll deal with something I consider really difficult for people learning English. How do you figure out how to say the ED ending of words? Some say a T sound, some say a D sound, some cause a second syllable to be pronounced and some don't. What's up with that? Let's explore and discuss that. This evening I'll review one of the situations in depth. I want to review with you when the ED past tense ending will form a second syllable. 
and then we'll pronounce a few words that follow that pattern. I think this is the easiest situation for you because many other nationalities pronounce all the letters. Okay, here's a rule for you. If the base word ends in a t or a d sound, the ed will say id and will require a second syllable. Here are examples for you to hear. Budded, carted, dotted, floated, gated, handed, landed, matted, knotted. If so, I'm sorry. So if the words end with a t -t or a d, -d sound, the ed will form a second syllable. Here is a paragraph to feature this particular rule regarding the pronunciation of the past tense ending featured this evening. Last week I went to my grandmother's house. I wore a dress that was purple dotted with white roses. Along the gated path I spotted a pair of hummingbirds that darted in and out of the flowers. Okay, thanks for your time. Keep learning. Thanks for letting me help and God bless you.